Today I want to show you the best color grading application for the iPad and also for the iPhone. Now, I am by no means a color grading expert. In fact, I'm a total noob when it comes to color grading. But what I do know how to do is how to color correct my footage, something like correcting my white balance, exposure, saturation, and so on and so forth. The best app that I found to color grade uh, my videos, uh, on the iPad at least, is Affinity Photo because I can create your own LUTs and then re-import these LUTs back to LumaFusion. But the problem with Affinity Photo is that it's a little bit too complicated for me to use, maybe because I'm not a professional or something like that, but it looks a little bit too complicated for me to use. So I wanted to find something a little bit more simple, more user-friendly, more easy to use for me, and I found this application. So this is the application right here. It's called Video Lot, and this is the iPhone version because you have the purple icon. And on the iPad, you have the blue icon right here. So this is the version for the iPad, and you also have another version for the iPhone. But today I'm mainly going to focus on the iPad version because that's what I'm using mostly to edit my videos and color grade my videos. But I just wanted to let you know that you can also download this application for the iPhone if you want to color grade your videos with the iPhone. Now this application costs five US dollars for the iPad and also for the iPhone. But I spoke to the developer and he told me that sometimes this application goes completely for free. And I actually got mine completely for free. And also the developer gave me a code where I can download the application completely for free for the iPad and also for the iPhone. And if you want to get this code, just leave a comment down below and I will send you this code via an email. Now with that being said, let's jump into the application and see what features it offers. So this is how the application looks like when you're opening it up for the first time. You have a completely blank uh, black page with a couple of options. Now here on the first option, we can import either a video or an image or a LUT PNG or also to take a photo to color grade the photo. Now I'm going to import an image from LumaFusion. Okay, I'm gonna just select a part, just this part. I'm gonna take a snapshot now I'm gonna go back to the video lot application, open image, and then I'm going to open this image. So now I have this image to work with, and let's see what options I have to uh, color grade this image and then re-import this lot back to LumaFusion. So first of all, I have lots of presets in here. As you can see, lots of presets. Okay, let's select one. Uh, Sophia, for example and you can select lots of presets. Okay, let's select something else. Strip 4, for example. This looks nice, and also if I click again on the image, I can adjust the intensity of the preset. So this is the first feature. You have lots of presets to apply to your image. Then you can create custom presets, a cube, 3DL, image, match, I don't know exactly what all this means, but Cube is basically creating a lot. Then you have profiles. Then this is the adjustments. And this is why I like this software so much, because on Affinity Photo, it's really, really complicated. Whereas here, it's super simple. So you have contrast to adjust the contrast. You have brightness to adjust the brightness. You have the exposure sliders, highlights, uh, shadows, okay? Then if you go here, you have the opacity of the adjustment. Um, you have saturation, vibrance to adjust all that if you want to. A temperature to adjust the white balance, tint, hue. Then you have clarity and sharpness if you want to add a little bit of sharpness to your image. And then you have selective color. So let's say, for example, you want to just um, apply to change the color of your skin. So you can select the reds, for example, and as you can see, the saturation changes uh, on my skin, or maybe you want to affect the blues in the shot, you get the point. Then here you can affect the highlights and the shadows, control the highlights and the shadows with the color. So let's say, for example, I want to add a little bit of uh, cyan, a little bit of teal to my shadows. I can select the teal and then add a little bit of saturation to my shadows. Okay, then I can balance it out as I want to. Then you have RGB curves, the 
you can control the white, uh, you can also control the green, red and blue. This is denoise, I don't know exactly what this is or how to use it. Uh, this is also, I don't really know exactly what it is, but I guess it's like RGB but with uh, yellow and purple or pink. And this is also something like RGB. Okay, let's go for the next option. You have masks. I don't know exactly what are those or how to use them, but you have this option here. You have curves, and this reminds me uh, a little bit of DaVinci Resolve, to be honest. So you have hue, 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 saturation, hue, luminance, saturation, luminance, saturation, saturation. So for example, if I want to change the color of my skin to something else, so I go to hue, hue, and I can change the color and look like Shrek, basically, if I want to. Now I can also add a custom point, just click on one of them and I can add a custom point. Then the next option is wheels, so you have LGG, ASC, CDL, I don't know exactly what it means, and like I said, I am a total color grading noob, so I don't know exactly what all these features do, I'm just showing you what you can do with this application. So let's click on LGG. Here we have shadows, mitons, and highlights. So basically lift, gamma, uh, and gain. Okay, and you can control the shadows. Also you can control the exposure of the shadows. You can control the mitons. I guess the color of the mitons and the exposure of the mitons. And also you can control the highlights, the exposure of the highlights and the color of the highlights. All right, now let's see what ASC CDL does. Offset, power, slope, have no idea what it is, but you have it here. And as you can see, it's very, very simple to use. Even for me, I'm a total noob. I can understand pretty much what I can do uh, with this application. Now you have display, display 3D LUT. Don't know exactly what this means, but you have it here. And you have also histogram, which you can also move around like that. So you can see your exposure, and you can also uh, open vector scope, just like so, and you can also move it around the frame. Then you have admin. I don't really know exactly what that means, to be honest, don't really know that. And then you have more, match, so maybe you, go, you want to open one image that's color graded already and you want to match one image to another, you can do that uh, in this application. And also here you can compare, so you can see before and after, so this, right is before, uh, this side is before and the left side is after. I'm gonna show you like that, okay? So you can see after and before, just to you know, to see how far you've got with your color grade. Now let me show you how to import this color grade to LumaFusion. It's very, very simple, especially with the new LumaFusion update. So for example, I'm gonna go to the presets, I'm gonna go Cine, and for example, I like this, okay? I'm gonna go to adjust, adjust the contrast a bit, the brightness, all right? Uh, the shadows, whatever a bit of saturation, vibrance. So let's say for example, this is what I like, this is what I want to use um, on my video inside LumaFusion, just go to save, and I can save an image, save cube, share cube, 16, 32, and 33. I'm using 16. And then now you can click share to LumaFusion, you click on that, and it's gonna send it to LumaFusion. Now I'm gonna go back to LumaFusion, okay? importing files, and I'm gonna click on the video, go to color, go to LUTs, and this is the LUT, the first one, as you can see. I can also adjust the intensity as I want to, and it's very, very simple to use. What you can also do if you want to, if you don't want to share with the LumaFusion, you can save it to the files, and if you want to know where the LUTs and LumaFusion are located, you go to, on my iPad, LumaFusion, Presets, and then LUTs, and then User LUTs. You can also rename that if you want to, so let's say I'm gonna name it, I don't know, Roma, okay, save. Now we're gonna go to the folder, LumaFusion, Presets, LUTs, User LUTs, click on Roma, it's gonna open it up in LumaFusion, 
and now you're gonna see it here, Roma. Click on that, and this is the LUT. Now, if I would want to apply this LUT to multiple clips at once, I would just save it. Save effect preset, I'll name it as well Roma. Save. And then I'll go back to my timeline. I'll select the new multi-select uh, feature. Select multiple clips at once. Click on this, and then click on Roma. And that's it. Very simple, all these clips now will have the new LUT from the video LUT application. So what do you think? Looks pretty cool, right? From now on, I'm only going to use this application to color grade and color correct my footage with the iPad or with the iPhone sometimes. Until LumaTouch will add more sophisticated color grading, color correcting features uh, inside LumaFusion. Again, if you want to get this application for free, leave a comment down below and I will send you a code via an email. And if you have any questions or comments, also let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.